M0FXB, welcome back to my videos learning the true USDX by DL2MAN and PE1NNZ. And today we're actually looking at the firmware process, stroke adding the call sign once we've received our brand new unit. And yes, please do get the original unit and then you'll get the serial number that will allow all of the firmware updates forever. So I'm going to just go through the instructions. When you get your unit, there will be a cellophane package and on the back of that unit, there will be a serial number. This is my package and this is what my serial number looked like. If you look here, it says this page shows you how to update the latest USDX firmware via a USB serial cable. Now it should work fine, but you may have one of the older models, or well, there may, may be a, you know, a problem, and so you would, well, you would then have to install the bootloader, and I believe to do that you'd have to open the unit and use an Arduino Uno and connect to a, sort of, uh, a block inside uh, and load the firmware, but hopefully you don't need to do that. So scrolling down, you're going to put your serial number that you've got just here and your call sign, and that way when the firmware boots up it will have your your call sign on the screen when the uh, SDX boots up. The next thing is to download the this, this program called AVR Dudes, okay? And you'll see in that on the right hand side here. So you might as well just click that and download that. So I've just done there. Click the download. And there it is there, download here. Um, ADR dudes and we're just going to choose the recommended top one there download that and I shall run it download at the top I've never I've literally never run this program before any ever so I'm going to click more info run anyway then yes I'm going to go OK. Now my, my device is not connected to my computer at the moment. I'm going to accept and go next, next. Let's go back, make sure I create shortcut. Finish, and it's going to launch it. OK, so we have that running. I'll just leave that there for now. We'll put it on the right hand side here. And we're also going to need a, a, a CH341 USB driver. So we go back to the first page. You'll see that here it says USB driver for CH340. I just click that. We're going to click it up here. Download. Just ignoring all the messages that I'm getting. And then we're just going to run. I've already run it. I'll run it again. Why not? It's very quick. And um, install. It may say we've already got it. Click OK. So we've now got it. The CH341 driver. So now when we plug our device into the PC, it should actually show up. So we just plugged it in. As you can see, I use a USB-C to micro USB adapter. The cable only goes in one way though. So right click uh, device manager. And we'll look, just want to see if it's showed up on our ports. Let's do that again. Right click device manager. Then click where it says ports, and there it is there, USB reader COM6. So we've got it connected via COM now, and that's all clearly shown here as well. The board rate needs to be 115200, so the way we do that is go back to our COM port, click it, right click, go to properties, then across the port settings, one tab, and just change that to 115200. Click OK. So that's sorted. Now if you look here, I'm going to have a go at downloading the beta release. Well, I'll put the link in, but it says here, you can download the latest experimental beta here. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to uh, put my serial number on call sign and download that firmware. So we've just about to click download and I've got the serial number in and look, it says here beta, remove fix for cleanup display cat as it makes things too slow with FTCAN, FT8CM, which I will try that. Underneath there you've got a few other items and it goes back. The one on mine at the moment is 2.00W, which I think is about right, but the, the beta is X, ends with an X, okay? 
So I'll just click download. And because I've got the serial number, it's, it's given me the download. I'm going to follow the instructions and make the selections that it's told me to do in the program that I'm running. And you can see the selections on the right hand side. So the programmer is the, it says here you've got to search for Arduino at the top there. In the newer models you select, Ard or in the newer software, the, this one here, you do select Arduino for bootloader using STK500. We'll select our COM as well, COM6, and we know it's 115. 200 which is in on the right drop down and we're looking for where is it of course a long list isn't there 80 mega 328p you can just see it here it does say uncheck all fuses and all other check boxes and I'm going to select the firmware so we'll go like so, go to my downloads and find that that we just found. Remember the, the version V, but it, look, it's got my call sign built into it now, which uh, hopefully is going to reboot. Now, I am doing this for the first time ever. I'm not DL2MAN. I'm Andreas learning in front of you. Please remember that. Okay, then we're going to hit program and see what it does. Com 6, 115200, 80 mega 328p, Arduino for bootloader just here. So everything looks correct to me. And device manager, USB serial CH340, you really need to know that that's in. And let's hit the go. Click program. And it writes everything for you. And when it reboots, you will have M0FXB. And now when I connect it to the AVR Dudes program, it shows M0FXB here as well. So that's it. That's the firmware update process. Let's have a quick close look at the radio. And you can see now my call sign is there. Bye for now. Lots of learning to do. There's our spectrum scope there. 7-3.